Hey guys, Dr. Sharon here and welcome to Neat Buddy MCQs where I provide you with daily biology MCQs for your practice before the upcoming NEET exam. We have already done chapter wise revision twice, unit wise revision four times on this very channel and you'll find the videos in the playlist of the channel. Right now we are doing jumbled MCQs where I'm providing you with MCQs from all the chapters of class 11th and class 12th in CRT biology. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one, which one of the following techniques is safest for detection of cancer? Radiographic, computer topography, histopathological studies, magnetic resonance imaging. The correct answer is option four, magnetic resonance imaging. Now in radiography and computer tomography, radiations are used. Histopathological study is an invasive study in which you need to take biopsy of the tissue. Magnetic resonance imaging, neither there is any invasion nor there is any radiation use. So that's the safest method. Question number two. The three prime, five prime phosphodiester linkages inside a polynucleotide chain serve to join one nucleoside with another nucleoside, one nucleotide with another nucleotide, one nitrogenous base with pentose sugar, one DNA strand with other DNA strand. Correct answer is option 2. One nucleotide is joined to another nucleotide with 3' prime to 5' prime phosphodiester linkage. Question number 3. The cell body in cockroaches discharge their nitrogenous waste in hemolymph mainly in form of. So what is basically the nitrogenous waste of the cockroaches? Calcium carbonate, ammonia, potassium urate, urea. Correct answer is option 3, potassium urate. Question number 4. In genetic engineering, a DNA segment or gene of interest is transferred to host cell through a vector. Consider the following four agents in this regard and select the correct option about which one or more of these can be used as a vector. Bacterium, plasmid, plasmodium, bacteriophage. Correct answer is option 3. Plasmid and bacteriophage can be used as vectors. Question number 5. Filiform apparatus is characteristic feature of synergids, generative cell, nuclear cells or new cellar cells, aileron cells. Correct answer is option 1. Synergids. Question number six. The fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster was found to be very suitable for experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance of Morgan and his colleagues because a single mating procedure produces two young flies. Smaller female is easily recognizable from larger male. It completes life cycle in about two weeks. It reproduces parthenogenetically. The correct answer is option 3. It completes its life cycle in about 2 weeks. So in a very short duration, a lot number of generations could be studied. Question number 7. Acid rain is caused by increase in atmospheric concentration of which of the following substances? The correct answer is option 2. That is SO2 and NO2. These gases go and combine with water to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid respectively which come down as acid rain. Question number 8. Signals from fully matured fetus and placenta ultimately lead to parturition which requires release of oxytocin from maternal pituitary, oxytocin from fetal pituitary, relaxin from placenta, estrogen from placenta. Which of the following is required for parturition? The correct answer is option 1. Oxytocin from maternal pituitary. And which pituitary secretes oxytocin? Correct. Posterior pituitary. And which other hormone is secreted by posterior pituitary? Vasopressin. And where are these two hormones synthesized? They are synthesized in hypothalamus. So pituitary has two parts, anterior and posterior. Anterior pituitary synthesizes and releases its own hormones. Whereas posterior pituitary, uh, the hormones are synthesized in hypothalamus. However, they are stored and released by the posterior pituitary. Question number nine. The wheat grain has an embryo with one large shield-shaped cotyledon called as coleoptile, epiblast, coleoriza, scutellum. Correct answer is option 4, scutellum. Question number 10. Among 
China rose, mustard, brinjal, potato, guava, cucumber, onion and tulip. How many plants have a superior ovary? 4, 5, 6 or 3? The correct answer is option 3, 6. And which are these 6 plants? Other than guava and cucumber which has inferior ovaries, all other rest 6 will have superior ovary. Question number 11. Which of the following is not a function of skeletal system? Locomotion, production of erythrocyte, storage of minerals, production of body heat. The correct answer is option 4. Production of body heat is not a function of skeletal system. Locomotion, movements is possible because of joints and the bones and the muscles which all form part of skeletal system. Production of erythrocytes, the uh, bone marrow produces RBCs, and WBCs, right? So production of erythrocytes is a function of skeletal system. Storage of minerals, calcium, phosphates, all these are deposited on the bones. So storage of minerals is also a function of skeletal system. However, production of body heat is nowhere related to the skeletal system. So the option fourth is not a function of skeletal system. Question number 12. Indian Rhinosaurus is a natural inhabitant of which of the following states? Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Assam or Uttarakhand? The correct answer is option 3, Assam. In fact, the Kaziranga National Park, that's very popular for the Indian Rhinosaurus. Question number 13. Which of the following events is not associated with ovulation in human female? LH surge, Decrease in estradiol, full development of graphene follicle, release of secondary oocyte. Not associated with ovulation. The correct answer is option 2. Decrease in estradiol is not associated with the process of ovulation. What is ovulation? It occurs in the 15th day when the ovum is released or the secondary oocyte is released from the graphene follicle. So full development of graphene follicle is required. LH surge is required so that the graphene follicle ruptures and the secondary oocyte is to be released. First 3 and 4 all are events associated with ovulation whereas option 2 is not an event associated with ovulation. Question number 14. Hemoglobin content per 100 ml of blood of a normal healthy human adult is? The correct answer is 12 to 16 grams. Something else is also 12 to 16 in this range. What is it? Right. The respiratory rate, normal respiratory rate is 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Question number 15. The body having meshwork of cells, internal cavities lined with food filtering flagellated cells and indirect development are characteristic features of the phylum. Protozoa, coelentrates, porifera, mollusca. The correct answer is option 3, porifera. So those are the MCQs for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another set of MCQs. Till then, all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share the video if you find it helpful and if you are new out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.